Hello beer tubers and welcome to another beer review with me Peter the Master of Hobbits today looking at another beer from Flugu who was kind enough to send this beer for a review along with some glassware. There we go. This is their Eric made in collaboration with Daniel Metzan who's a producer of Rosé and this is an attempt at making a Rosé and beer hybrid. So this is a hybrid between Rosé and also a Berliner Weisse. Flugu is very well known for doing these kind of beers, these sour beers. So this is a Berliner Weisse with raspberries, but also rosé wine. So they put in 33% of this is rosé wine. It's like a blend with uh, raspberry Berliner Weisse made with raspberry puree. And they use, it's just they use Belgian saison yeast to ferment it. So a little bit different than you usually would, I guess, with a Berliner Weisse. Um, so yeah. It's quite interesting in terms of, uh, you know, blending in wine into a beer. I don't remember the last time I had a beer. It's been done before, but yeah, I can't remember the last time I had one. Love the watercolors on the label there. It's raining like crazy outside right now. They've been promising this weather for a week and I think it just hit. Autumn is here. There we go, Denmark. Or I'm barbecuing tomorrow. <laughs> Gonna be in the shed. So yeah, this will be fun to try. I well, I actually sneak previewed. I had a second bottle. I shared with my girlfriend. She really loved it. Uh, I thought she would. I think the market for that, you know, this kind of beer, it's girls. I think a lot of girls love stuff like this. And you know, I like fruity sour beers too. But rosé seems to appeal a lot to the female audience. I'm not saying that only girls drink rosé. My brother in love freaking loves rosé. I'm not a huge fan of rosé because I find them so often too sweet. I had a couple that's been more dry that I really enjoyed, but let's dive into this. So it looks like a glass of rosé almost more than a beer because the head disappeared like that. Yeah, there was a little bit of a pink head, but otherwise it's a red looking beer wine hyper. Let's take a beer aroma on it. It smells like a gra glass of raspberry rosé, really. It is very rosé-like. It's got that dry, fruity, red-ish grape. Almost like the cotton candy grapes you can get. That kind of aroma with a nice waft of fresh raspberry aroma. Not really funky or anything. I'm really thinking I need to close the windows. <laughs> this is nuts. It's pouring like crazy. But yeah, it smells like what you expect. It smells very rosé-like. But 33% of this is rosé, so it should. Let's give it a taste, guys. Cheers, and thanks to Fluke for the beer. It is actually really enjoyable. It's much more enjoyable than the Rosé hybrid thing I had from Firestone, the Rosali. That was a bit more timid. This is a bit more oomphy. It's got a lot of flavor. Uh, loads of Rosé. It really tastes a lot like Rosé. I mean, you really have to like Rosé to like this. And then like this really fresh raspberry flavor too. Light, medium tartness. It does have some dryness, which is what I need in some a beer like this. So it doesn't go too sweet. Well, I think that's a good idea. I mean, not that rosés really often are that sweet, but it's just, I've had some that are that sweet. I don't know, I'm just not into it. If I'm drinking wine, I want a crazy robust and red wine that's like really oomphy and full. If I want something light and enjoyable, I'll go drink a beer or a farmhouse ale or a Berliner Weisner or something like that. Uh, that's just my personal preference. Not that I hate, utterly hate white wines and rosés and whatnot. I just rarely ever drink it, but if I'm having like steak, I'll probably have red wine over beer. But this is nice, uh, refreshing, tart, crisp. We're saying like flavors, the raspberry, very simple beer, but very enjoyable. Uh, nothing that's gonna blow your socks off, I think, but I think this is a good beer for a crowd that's really into wine. It's a good like introduction beer into the world of sour beers too, because I don't think it's too sour. But yeah, it's nice. If you enjoy, you know, Rosé and these kind of sour ales, I think you'll really enjoy it. Uh, they make some nice beers, Fluga, so check them out. I, this is not my favorite from them, <laughs> but they've ha they have some nice stuff. They do down in Frankfurt in Germany. Rating-wise, for the Erik, made in collaboration with Daniel Matter. Like an 88, 87, something like that. It doesn't really go up in the 90s to me because I feel like it's very simple beer. Not that a bad thing. Really enjoyable, really drinkable, really easy going. I just like some of the other stuff I've had from them more. 
mm. well, the two other beers that were. They're a bit more oomphy. But I think this is a very good introductory beer for people to get introduced to sour beers and stuff like this. Uh, you know, instead of all the crazy stuff. I think this is a very good gateway beer, if you can say it like that. And if you love rosés, this is a must. So, yeah, 88, maybe 89, actually. It's like higher 80s. So, if you guys had a chance to try Erich from Flüge und, and I was about to say und. What's going on today? It's the brain confusing me. Daniel Mattern. Let me know what you thought of it. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, Twitter, and Instagram. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it. And uh, yeah, remember to ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And I want to say cheers and see you guys in another beer review. And thanks a ton as well to Flüge for the glass and the beer. Cheers.